I'm Anil Kumar and we'll practice how to find linear systems solution from the given graph. We have two different linear systems represented on graph in this video. You can actually pause and answer the question. So the first one here has two lines rising with y intercept of minus 1, x intercept of 1 and the other one which is going downwards with y-intercept of 7. You need to find solution of this linear system. The other linear system represented by a horizontal line and a direct variation line which goes through the origin. You need to find solution of the other linear system also. You can actually pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. The solution of the very first one is point of intersection. So solution of a linear system from graph is easy to find. What you have to look for is point of intersection. So that gives you the solution. In the first case this is the point of intersection which has coordinate of 6 and 5. So 6, 5 is the solution of the first question. About the second one, the point of intersection is right there, whose coordinate points are x values 1, 2, 3, y is 4, so it is 3, 4. So that is how you can actually find or read from the given graph the solution of a linear system. Now as an added exercise, what I would like you to do is, for both these questions, I would like you to write equations of the linear systems and then verify the solution. So that is an exercise which you need to do. So you can always write down equations of these lines using y-intercept and the slope. Once you get the equation, you need to verify whether this given solution is right or wrong. Now, for the question number two, let me write down the equations of the line. So, we can say this is line one and this is line two. In that case, equation of line one will be, this is a horizontal line, correct? Since it is a horizontal line, at every point y value is 4. So I could write this equation as y equals to 4. Equation for the second line, it is a direct variation going through 0 and let's find what slope is. Uh, since it goes through 0, y intercept is 0 and the slope of this line is 1, 2, 3, 4 rise, 1, 2, 3 run. So it is y equals to 4 is the rise and 3 is the run. So 4 over 3 x. So that is a system which has two lines. Lines 1 and 2, right? So these are the two lines which form the system. Now to verify solution really means when you substitute 3 for x, you should get 4 for y. So let's verify from line 2. So in line 2, I'll replace x with three and then try to find what y is. So from line two we can say y is equals to four over three and if I substitute x equals to three in that case I get the value of y as three and three cancels as four right substituting x equals to three. So we do get four. So the coordinate point three four is common to both the lines. As far as line one is concerned for every value of x, the value of y is, is 4 and therefore for 3 also it is going to be 4. So that is how you can verify your solution. So step number 1 here is to write equations of the line and step number 2 is to substitute x and y values and verify that it satisfies the equation. I hope you get the concept, right? So for the first line, you know the y-intercept is 7 and the slope is 
uh, let's take this point so if you take this particular point slope is rise is minus 1 run is 3 so you can write this equation as y equals to minus 1 over 3 x plus 7 now to find okay uh, plus plus 7 right so that is the equation of the first line as far as the second line is concerned y intercept is minus 1 and slope is 1 so we can write this as y equals to my, uh, x minus 1 it's better to write x minus 1 since the slope is 1 correct so that becomes the equation of these two lines and now let us verify to verify we'll substitute x equals to 6 so we'll sub x equals to 6. So if I substitute x equals to 6 in the first equation, I get y equals to minus 1 over 3 times 6 plus 7, which is minus 2 plus 7, which is 5. So that is the value 5. For the second line, y equals to, I'm substituting 6 for x, 6 minus 1, which is again 5, right? So for both the lines, we do get a coordinate point 6 x value 6 x coordinate and y coordinate of 5 which satisfies so this is how you can actually verify your solution also i hope that helps you to understand the whole concept of linear systems and link graphical and algebraic equations graphical solutions and algebraic solutions i hope that helps I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.